I recently got this shipment from a company called Vicious Punks Jewelry. Custom made stuff. I don't know if they actually like hand cast any of the jewelry, but they definitely design and throw things together. I'd say it's pretty cool, uh, especially because of how much variety they have of like all kinds of piercings. Really anything on the ear that you can think of. Facial stuff, body stuff. They also have shirts, bags, various other accessories like that. I think you can do some custom ones. So when it comes to the custom stuff, a lot of it is like engraving on various things like necklaces or I think rings and stuff like that. Pretty cool, very cheap for the most part. So we're gonna see how the quality actually is, but pretty unique items because you can customize them. And then even with the stuff that they don't engrave, they only have so much stock. Only so many pieces, I would say. They do restock some that are popular enough. Been paying attention to them for a while, so I'm just trying to gauge what I see from their social media because I found them on Instagram originally. Little reels, I think, where they show like a stack is what they, what they say, where it's a maybe a color theme on the ear for different piercings or necklace. I got the package. Got it here, cover the address. They have their little emblem. I thought that was cute, just like a little detail that they put on the uh, package. Actually, what do we have? Look at these little packages. Yeah, there's Vicious Punks. Kind of glittery, sparkly thing. Okay, so it's held on by this little sticker. If I can get it, yeah. Like that. This is a barbed wire necklace. Very cool. It feels dirty, I will say. This whole area. I wonder if I can get that. It's like all one piece, if that makes sense. Melded together, maybe. Not welded. So maybe they do cast it, is what it kind of seems like. It feels pretty strong. Not that you're going to be haul something on the back of a car with this, right? It doesn't need to be crazy strong, it's just a necklace. And then we have the black chunky chain. Is this what this is? So the first one I pulled out was the chunky metal barbed wire. It only comes in one size, so hopefully that fits okay. Extra chunky black chain necklace. This one, I was able to choose the sizes, which they have various options on those. This one's 16, so these are huge. Yeah, they are chunky, they feel like they have some kind of coating on them. I don't know if that'll kind of come off with paint. BCR curb chain necklace, which was an 18 inch one. So this is a little bit longer. Just that classic like hoop with the ball that you might see on piercings a lot. Kind of bigger one. You could definitely do a lot of matching with the variety that they have because this would look good on a septum and then maybe a couple of piercings as well. I'm trying to guess what these are. Because they're not exactly labeled. That'd be cool if they had numbers on them. Oh, that's not that at all. These are actually... Oh, wow. Okay. Very simple. So, this is what it's supposed to look like. Big old chunky ring. Or necklace. Or earring. Jesus. <laughs> uh, this one kind of came apart right as it came in. But it's not broken. Don't worry. It's just these like classic hoops that you'll see off pretty often. Clips together. And then a chain. Right? Oh wow. Magical. So you can kind of wear either way that you like. Fun. And I think almost every piece that I got here was like ten dollars. Here. Spiky huggies, as they call them, I believe. And now these are actually just clip-ons. Bags inside a bag inside a bag. These are screws though, screw piercings. They're black. Cool. Scorpion pendant necklace. So that's what we have. Yeah. I'd say it's looking good all together. Oh, and like I said, oh, the ball hoop. I didn't realize that it would move around so much. I thought it'd be, oh, I guess it's supposed to be like that. I had it up on here. That's supposed to go through your ear. 
this jingles around a lot. It looks like it's just a bee. Just a normal bee. Boom. And these are like your more normal studs that you spin off. Which I personally don't like that much. They can just be a pain. But because these are so oh so big, I think it'll be fine. So like the necklaces, it's probably the easiest place to start. I actually Oh wow. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, so ball came off. I think it's intentional. Yeah. So as you can see on the chain, nowhere to actually take off. I've never had such a dangly heavy piece. Looking good. Well, there you have it. 